Hi everyone, this is Kamal from NokiaPowerUser.com and I welcome you all to the hands-on demo session of Windows Phone 8.1 Update 1. We also call it Windows Phone 8.1 GDR1 Update. It has started rolling out to all the devices which are developers preview enabled uh, since yesterday and uh, my two devices Lumia 525 which was running Windows Phone 8.1 uh, developers preview and this Lumia 630 which was running uh, Lumia Siam. Uh, have received the updates and uh, the update went quite smooth for me uh, it took around 45 to 50 minutes uh, starting from uh, download of the update to final uh, restore of the data so uh, if you like uh, the update would be somewhere like i think 200 mb in size and uh, while uh, this is gdr1 update one so it is not supposed to bring too many features so as you can see that windows phone 8.1 was a very major update with lots of features but still it brings some uh, very interesting or like useful features one of them is like live folder creation and another is uh, like for messaging where you can now select uh, many messages multiple messages and for deletion or for forwarding so uh, apart from that we will also see what uh, new changes are there which are not yet, not yet covered so uh, we will uh, go through those uh, changes as well and uh, i'll just do a hands-on demo or hands-on uh, like uh, how to so you will see how to uh, create a live folder and uh, we will go through all the changes one by one so let's start uh, okay. so So uh, coming to how this live folder thing works, so uh, you have to just do this that you will just tap and hold on any of the tile and you will then drag and drop of any other. So like I, I can, okay sorry, so I have already created a folder, so I will have to start. <laughs> uh, okay, so like I uh, tap and hold this tile and I can just drag and drop of any of the tile. and it will ask me to create a it will ask me to name the folder so as soon as you drag and drop one tile over other so the folder is created now you can name the folder so i can just name it anything i will just name it miscellaneous 2 okay and you are ready with your folder now So in case uh, if I need to uh, now uh, my folder is here you can read the folders name as miscellaneous 2 okay so as soon as now my folder is created I can drag and drop other tiles too so I can just drag and drop this tile here and it goes into my folder similarly I can drag other tiles as well okay now let us work with this folder so if i tap on the folder i can see all the tiles which are there in this folder i can tap again and it minimizes so it looks quite intuitive now uh, coming to how i can uh, take out any of the tiles from this folder again you have to drag I mean tap and hold then drag and drop the tile out of this folder so now you can see that uh, this folder has only three tiles so again if you have to uh, take uh, another more tiles from it you can just tap and hold and then drag and drop so in this way now my folder has got only two tiles so this is how you uh, create live folders and how you can you know uh, i mean put more uh, more tiles to them or add more apps to them or you can just 
take out any app from them okay easy so uh, after this we'll go to the second most important change so that is messaging so now we will see so here apart from all the options that you see now you have option of selecting messages so you can select messages and you can do I mean delete you can just delete it so there is no issue with that this is how it works okay so these are two major changes uh, now coming to one more uh, important change so you can see that uh, this is store live tile is a uh, I mean the store tile has become a live tile so what it means that uh, every six hours it gets updated and it flips and shows you uh, you know the various apps so here are the settings so in, uh, you can go and just uh, toggle it on so it will show today's apps and you can also uh, uh, I mean kind of set whether where uh, like whether you want uh, to just get updated over Wi-Fi or even uh, it can update over cellular data so I have just put it as like it can update over uh, cellular data as well so the store tile flips and shows you different apps so uh, this is the third change now coming to the changes which are less covered or uh, which have been like identified now so uh, one of them is internet sharing so when you come to internet sharing earlier you could have seen just this toggle on toggle off but now you see this option of whether you want to share over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so what it does is uh, the Wi-Fi is the normal standard way of internet sharing but now you can share the Wi-Fi over Bluetooth as well which does not work as fast as Wi-Fi but it is really good a nice option uh, apart from this uh, when we go to okay alarms so now in alarms you can actually uh, set snoozing time so earlier it was not there but now you can suit set uh, snooze time so you can just set like 5 minutes snooze or 10 minutes snooze or 20 so this is one more let's cover the uh, change okay now coming to Kotana so Kotana is in alpha as can be seen here it's in alpha and uh, so uh, the good thing is that uh, now I don't I, I have uh, no more I need to go and uh, put my settings the location or regional settings as uh, US I get it uh, so you, you you can go to our article over nokiapowerusercom and just check how to you know get this alpha kotana but I'll just take you through so in reason you can set as India match foreign language now uh, a speech necessarily needs to be United Kingdom English and language you need to uh, download and in, I mean download this United Kingdom language it takes some time and uh, your uh, phone needs to reboot so for uh, installing this language so you do this and uh, you'll get the Kotana which is an alpha so this is good that uh, now your region is uh, India but or like it can be Australia or Canada uh, depending on upon the region you are in uh, but uh, you don't get so many options as you can get with US Kotana so if you go to interest you hardly have two categories to choose from so in news or weather so <laughs> it's a start it's alpha thing so if you uh, don't want to get the Kotana in alpha you can put again uh, you can get the 
Cortana setting uh, your uh, you know region to United States then again you have to set your language your speech everything to United States and you can get the Cortana from uh, I mean with all the I mean best features with that is available for Cortana in US okay now apart from these changes a uh, few visible changes which are there one of them is access accessory apps so uh, you I don't have any accessory to connect here but uh, if you have cover if you have like uh, mm, you have gone through our coverage of Windows Phone 8.1 GDR1 update then you may know that uh, it will support you bring support for cover apps which are like popular in other uh, for other smartphones so I think those kind of apps or apps which uh, like Fitbit or other smartwatches so those kind of accessory apps uh, may get installed on the phone and then they will be able to show up here so for now I don't have any accessory app so it uh, does not show anything here okay now one more visible change is app corner so you may have used uh, kids corner so apps corner is a similar con con similar concept and you select apps here so you can select any three four apps whichever and once you have selected apps you can actually pin them to the start screen so it is not as uh, intuitive or native as kids corner but it gets uh, you know pinned here and then it can be accessed so enterprises can use there so it has been uh, it has been it has been, i mean mentioned as an enterprise feature by microsoft uh, but uh, I mean uh, because with kids corner you can actually uh, just go to the lock screen and just swipe to go to kids corner so but still it uh, works in the similar way so this is also one of the visual changes that comes with this update okay apart from them uh, these changes actually there is a uh, not much which comes with uh, windows phone 8.1 update one okay these are the major changes so live folders then the uh, message multiple selection for deletion forwarding then uh, windows phone stored live type then as you have seen that uh, uh, internet sharing over bluetooth okay Cortana in alpha accessory apps so these are the uh